Hello, my name is Michael Evans, and this is Carson Board. So, back when I was playing role playing games, they had the setting called, they had the role playing game called Deadlands, the weird, the Tales of the Weird West. I love the setting, but I can never actually get people to play the game. So, I found. So, this has been out for a while Doomtown Reloaded. There was a collectible card game based off of. Uh, uh, Deadlands. This uh, AEG came back and made it basically a living card game or their equivalent of a living card game. So I've been thinking about it for a while and uh, one of the local friendly gaming stores they had it all on clearance. So I thought I'm going to pick it up because I love the setting and it's a, I should be able to get this played more than I got this role playing game played. Hopefully. the rules of play. It's a rule book. And then they have a book for learning to play. Getting to know Gamora. This basically gives you a tells you how to set up and play your first few games get used to the game. Apparently this is really useful before you actually get into the gameplay. Because there's a lot to this game apparently. Like tokens. A lot of tokens. Now there are a couple boards. These are basically this gives you like player A's and uh, tell you where to put, uh, like say, how to lay out your cards. So basically it's really large player A's. So I have plenty of room for expansions, of which I got two. And we got a bunch of cards, most of them, they're, they're like the poker cards. Except there's a lot more of them. You don't have to have like an actual legal poker or poker deck or anything like that. I'm going to we're gonna go take a look close look at these in a few minutes. Then we have the We have Election Day Slaughter. Which is more cards. But this is still on the scene, so. Basically a little bit of extra, extra cheat sheet, a bit of extra information. It looks mostly like there's that basically flavor tax. And this one is during the election. Election Day Slaughter. Crosby strikes the mayoral, mayoral race. Can Sloan and her gang escape Grimora with the sheriff's deputies and Morgan's security on, her, on her heels? And what purpose does the fourth ring have with the stone artifact? Now the uh, there are four factions. There's uh, there's the uh, Sloan gang. Uh, there's the uh, Law Boys or whatever they're called. The, the basically the Law. There's the Homestead, which is uh, basically they're like the cattle uh, cattle the cattle ranches and stuff like that. A collection of cattle ranches and such. But they're also into like. Uh, really weird steampunky R&D sort of stuff. 
Then there's the fourth ring, which is like this carnival, which is uh, brings in the magic and the occult. Because the setting is like the weird west, where it has a, it has the the western theme. Then there's with steampunk, with supernatural, which is why I love the theme so much. And then there's double dealing. Again, you got the. Uh, Basically, a little chip sheet and a bunch of uh, background information. This one is the Double Dealing Cell Bay expansion. So these are all both Cell Bay expansions, which basically the small uh, expansions. Double this one, Double Dealing. The race for the mayor's office heats up, and there there are backroom deals, public endorsements with violence and malevolence boiling just under the surface. The this promises to be an election that people of Gamora won't soon forget. Do camera loaded is a foul. Okay. So, both, I guess, dealing with the, with the election. So basically it adds more cards to the thing. So we'll take a closer look at what we actually get in the game. So that was looking at the tokens, at like the poker chips, because of course it was Wild West, the mechanics are poker themed. Got all these various tokens here for influence. Normal poker chips on the back was well, the law. The stars is probably law and the learning the game book. Actual rules. Now, there's apparently a lot to this game, so it's really that learning to play is apparently really helpful. Look at one of these boards. Got their references, reference information, where you put your stuff. I believe this is just a two, supposed to be just a two-player game. The other board is exactly the same. We'll look at some of these cards. Like I say, they have poker numbers, poker card numbers, and I think these are all the three ring ones. So at various points they do various things like sometimes you'll play them for power, sometimes you'll play them for you know attacking, sometimes you'll play them for influence. The influence places you can take or as places you can take You know, by the little flavor text, different rules. Basically, what you're going to make a deck out of these cards, not necessarily all poker, actual poker hands, but a deck was made up of, you know. Various cards, they can have multiple of the same uh, number in there, the same number of the same in the same suit. I think you have multiple of the same actual card too. I'm not sure. Like the different suits are different things, like the uh, spades are characters, uh, um, diamonds I believe are places. The 
uh, clubs are uh, the clubs are special uh, special things that uh, the hearts are is it diamonds I think yeah the diamonds are places yep yeah, diamonds are places the hearts are like equipment and such and I think equipment and magic or the clubs are magic and special things. So like I say, you put this place down, you're trying to fight over who controls it, like, uh, and then you start doing a shootout, which is you're trying to take out people's characters, which is basically they're out of the, they get rid of some of their cars out of the game and Well, how these things basically they just are which fashion you are, like the Sloan Gang and such. I guess I, I, I know the setting, the, the role playing game was rather dark. And, uh, dealt with rather, you know. A lot, there's a lot of necromancy and uh, macabre uh, magics and stuff. There's a, a west. There's a western. The role playing game is basically a western horror. So hopefully, it's going to keep some of that same feel. Because I like the I like westerns. Fantasy, West, Western horror, Western sci-fi. So, this looks like. So, hopefully, this will be a really good game. Hopefully, it will keep this the same uh, feel as the original, as the original setting, as the original game, as the original game. I'm looking up, looking forward to playing this. But yeah, like I say, the, I, the art is pretty good. Although it doesn't seem as dark, the art itself doesn't seem as dark as the uh, original setting. forward to trying this one out. Like you'd have the places in your deck, but other people could take to take over places you played. If you play them as like locations rather than cards, apparently. The specialty one, like the, your your faction ones, are different. Now, I went through the other two. I wasn't really paying attention. I kind of skipped past them, but those ones were on the very bottom. And like I say, their backs are very different than uh, the regular cards' backs. To make it easier, if you have to dig through. Uh, 
because that is kind of dark. So like I say, some of them, they got some of the some good ones in here. So it does keep some of the, it does seem to keep some of the dark theme. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out, yes. So that was the base deck. That was the base box. Let's see what we have in this, some of the expansions. We'll look in Election Day Slaughter first. Up there. Look at that later. Let's see what new ones we have. I just need to add four of each, so. Okay, the magic, I know this matching and setting was based off of uh, cards and poker. Because the, uh, what's the, a Holt Guide to Poker, which is the oldest book on poker, was actually a uh, magic spell book in the setting. And, uh, like the original, because the original copy apparently was filled with all kinds of supposed typos and such, which are actually arcane formulas which would teach the uh, hucksters, which was the magic users were called, uh, their magic. We're going to look into double dealing. This one over here now. Now I know I ha they have more, but like this was what they had at the store at the time. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to jump in. I'm going to get these while I can. One of the magic types was uh, basically poker based. I think there was more magic than that. Like, no, the indigenous people had their own type of magic, and
when I see that, it's who you know. I was thinking, it's not what you know, it's gotta be somewhere as close. It's not what you know. And that was... So that is what you get in Doomtown Reloaded. And Doomtown Reloaded Double Dealing, Doomtown Reloaded uh, Doomtown Reloaded uh, Election Day Slaughter. So I'm looking forward to trying this one out. I love the same. I love the scene. I love the, uh, the I love the art. This should be a good game. I don't know if, we, if we'll be playing it anytime soon. I'm pretty sure it's, it might be four player. For two plus players, never mind. It's not a deck builder, so we might be able to get this, uh, get a play through this. But that has been Doomtown Reloaded. If you like what you've seen, please like, subscribe, comment. Plus, we have a Facebook page. Oh, we have a Facebook group. So you can join that. Let us know what you want to see us play. Let us know what you're thinking. Just come talk to us. But that has been Cards and Boards on uh, Doomtown Reloaded. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening. And goodbye.